hello viewers and subscribers welcome once again my <coughs> uh, my new screencast and then uh, this is the screencast the continuation of the of the screen can, uh, screencast number 26 uh, this is the screencast will i try to give it to you how can you implement the rest apis or rest services based on the redix uh, non-sql database or in-memory data structure this is the really most important uh, data structure for 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 publishing or just for generating the rest apis and even though some some message broker the in-memory data structure that's that's today i try to give it to you how can you start how can you install or how can you start the implementation of uh, some some use cases uh, mean meaning that some some user registration process to expose uh, some rest apis and then integrate those rest api into the any fontaine or web development frameworks those API, uh, rest api calls if you saw the my projects we i we already had some uh, some rest apis exposing by based, based on the cassandra based on the elastic search based on the game fire and based on the mysql and postgresql and and today i am trying to continue the the rest uh, rest uh, game redis based rest api implementation so so let's go to the the our channel page and you see that i had already uh, many example <coughs> uh, or the, uh, or screencast about the how can you start the implementation of the uh, cassandra based rest api implementations implementation means uh, you set the specification use cases and start the build the project structure as far uh, standard way and then start the implementation deploy the services uh, no, deploy the services locally test the services via postman or soap ui or other uh, rest api client testing and then after that when the testing is satisfied satisfactory level then you can you can deploy the services into the into the client machines maybe thousands of machines or or any part of the world you can install the machines this installation or deployment process is based on the spring boot profiling concept and then as a standalone jar packaging uh, you just pack the, your application as a jar files just and then you can externally externally configure externally override the the application dot properties files or application dot eml file based on what what option you will take over and those who are new in the uh, new in the in the, uh, in the into the spring boot profiling please consent please go to the my this those screencasts and you get the really clear idea even though today i try to cover those things together and then that means the our our Redis application that's Redis based development today. I will start the specifications and then start the development, deploy locally, test with the postman, and after the postman is testing satisfactory, and then we deploy how can you configure the Spring Boot for filing application that you already show here. I already started the the prefix with the different application, the properties, production, QA, release, and test environments. That's just simply we packed the jar files and then after the jar file packed and we just override the things together uh, how can you deploy this application in the into the any part of the world or any cloud systems like if you have a database a redix database in the cloud system just connect with the those those database and build the your application and install the application in thousands of machines that's that's our idea uh, for to to give it to you today and i previously i had it all all things together so mongodb based implementations with uh, some use cases the rest api uh, implementations elastic search space implementations and then redis based implementation today and also i have the 
MySQL based implementation, Postgres based implementations, you know, the SQL world and non SQL world. That means SQL based, I have many examples like Postgres based, Postgres based uh, REST API uh, with um, uh, implementation, MySQL based implementation, Oracle based implementation, and non SQL world. That means uh, the Elasticsearch, MongoDB, Cassandra, Gamefires, and then so on and so forth. So this is one of the example for the game fire. Uh, we are continuing the further development, but you can follow the follow the our channels, and then you can get clear idea if depending on the use cases, depending on the your technology stack, uh, depending on the, your backend server, which technology stack you try to use it and build a uh, be, uh, implement and build and build uh, your REST APIs and deploy those REST API into the into the clients machines. And that's the idea uh, for for today to give it to you based on the Redis uh, game fire. So let's have a start. What we have it in the presentations. So we we try to just just uh, recap the presentation part. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, so so. so so you see that we we already had some uh, screencast number 27 just go to the channels with so based on the mongodb how can you expose the rest services with the mongodb with the basic crude operations and mongo operation sql statements i just like I just copy i just like make a template here just you can look for the screencast number 27 and the screencast number 28 based on the elastic search exactly the same the different use cases and crude operations and the elastic search operations and the elastic search champ templates so and this is the uh, an example another example how can you implement the cassandra based rest api development testing external configuration and deployments and this is the game fire based exactly the same things a different use case of implementing the rest apis you can go this one also 20 number 24 and 25 and then today that's i am talking about today uh, how can you implement the rest apis and uh, uh, microservices uh, de uh, development and testing external configuration and deployment with the with the client machines that's that's what we are trying to do today so this is the architecture or workflow how you can say if you have some like like the n minus one tier architecture you see the 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 your backend uh, database migration means your in-memory data sets that's we have it in the in the redis game fire or cassandra mongo doesn't matter which is it and is the backend server so we are trying to implement the, our rest services and here in the middle layer that we expose as a as a chart deployment and configuration necessary configuration need to be done configuration means we deploy the as a standalone jar files would configure the, uh, the our application properties file override the properties file and deploy the the and deploy the uh, application into different machines or client machines and based on this api you can use any font and technology doesn't matter uh, uh, java based font and technology or grails based font and technology or other c based font and technology or it's very simple javascript based font and technology like angular react view and then so on and so forth and then depending which font and technology you are using but in the in the this middle layers and the backend layers you are in the based on the java implement the jar your jar file your applications your apis just deploy the apis and the font and user or back and font and user or gui user a UI user just call the your APIs build their, their services that's why it is uh, that's I said uh, those are in the professional way to do this is really professional structure to implement uh, the, the the enterprise level application just follow the step by step and I believe if you are beginners even though you can get it clearly what I mean how can you start how can you think about that one and how can you start very quickly as a, as a, as, a, as a API developer or is it backend or middle layer developers if you are working as a, as a small company then you are 
playing every part of your development like you you are responsible to prepare the backends configuration data migrations and then you need to build your api apis this middle layers and business logic layers you need to be implement you need to deploy and you need to be configured and after that you need to you are responsible uh, front end on 